What mm-hmm. about our queen, Miss Kim Kardashian and Kanye? You know, that's going to be an interesting thing. Um, she wants to be a lawyer, which we all know, and fight for justice. And I, what's the name of the guy that's, that's mentoring her, the lawyer from CNN? Van Jones. Yeah, I heard a rumor that, uh-huh. you know, and I looked at their astrology charts, and it's pretty spicy. He's getting a divorce. She's getting a divorce. This could be a really good match. I mean, astrologically, too. Do you love looking at the charts of people? Like, you think that plays a yeah. big part into it? Something stumps me because there's the regular charts, the, tr- the two natals, and then you got to look at the composite, and then you got to look at progressions. So sometimes you'll look at somebody and go, I don't understand how these two got together, but then there's a progression or there's a north node, which is your, what, what you're here on earth to do. And um, depending on what house it's in, or it's your seventh house, which is the house of marriage, there's always something, but sometimes you can't see it. And there's layers. There's, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of... Um, Besides planets, there's asteroids. Like Juno is the asteroid of marriage. So it's like sometimes you'll see something and you'll go like nothing makes sense. And then you see one little blip and that's what it is. Usually it's an ascendant issue. Uh, Your ascendant or their ascendant is touching a planet, a personal planet, each other's chart. And then there's the composite. If the composite's not really good, you know, like when I looked at Megan and Harry, it wasn't phenomenal. It was better on the composite than the two needle charts. Do you think they're a good match? There's going to be issues with that one. They, they're they here to teach each other things. Sometimes you get together with someone and it's not perfect and it's not smooth and silky, but they're here to teach you something about life. But in like a way, I don't know, I thought Kim and Kanye were kind of perfect. No, Mm-mm. I never thought that ever. I thought he was a lot of work. I think that she, like, she's not a big drinker, she's not a partier, he's bipolar. You know, there's a lot of issues with him that come with the party. And I think she's tired. You know, I think she needs a guy who's her equal, who she doesn't have to like, you know, prop up on it. I heard a story once that he fell asleep. She told it in the middle of a meeting, like narcolepsy. And while they're in the middle of a meeting, she's like, what do I do with that? So the creative genius, you know, that whole mind of his, because he's super creative, is on a whole different level. And she's down here on earth. So, no. She... It ran its course. It ran its course. It, it was there for the children. Sometimes you, you get married astrologically or you get married um, karmically to have kids with, and then the relationship changes and you're not supposed to be with that person anymore. I feel she needs like, like a grounded yeah. businessman who works, mm-hmm. it works, 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 and works. These and her being a lawyer, I like them together. It would be a really good match. It would mm-hmm. be. What about like the rest of the Kardashians? I mean, Chloe's with Tristan off and on. Just not going there. <laughs> I don't trust him, so I'm not going there. I worry about him on that one. Whoa. I think she's so sweet, and I always worry that her heart's going to get broken on that. These sports guys, man, they just grill you. They cut you to shreds. 